said yes to what God asked of her. She let God have her whole life, body and soul. She is the mother of Jesus, our brother. She is the mother of God and the queen of heaven. She is also our mother, loving, watching over us, and praying for us through her son, Jesus. Mary is a model of faith for all of us. At this May crowning, as a Catholic community, let us pray that we can become as generous as Mary was with her own life. Please stand and join in singing our opening song, Emmanuel. that's what 
what mothers do. They're, they love their children. And we just heard a, a, a gospel that had to be very, 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 very hard for Mary. Uh, because there's Jesus on the cross. They're torturing him. They're, they've beaten him. They're, they're yelling at him. And yet there was Mary. And then the disciple whom she loved and Mary Magdalene. They were standing at the foot of the cross. Okay? What were they doing? What do you think they were doing? They were praying and loving. I kind of think that it would take a lot of courage to, to, to be up there on the cross and die. And then Jesus looking down in a place where people were screaming and, and beating him. He saw very gentle eyes. The eyes of his mother that he had seen all, all his life. And uh, as a son, he was worried about her because we believe that, that Mary didn't have any other children. Uh, Jesus didn't have any brothers or sisters. Mary was, was a widow at that time. Uh, St. Joseph had died. And Jesus was, was worried about, he said, who's going to take care of my mother if I'm not here? And then he looked at what we call the disciple whom Jesus loved. This is from the Gospel of John, and a lot of people think that it was the youngest of the apostles, uh, the apostle John, the disciple John. And he says to his mother, woman, now I never call my mother woman. <laughs> woman, I will not wash my, uh, I will not put my clothes in the hands of I would have gotten a slap in the face, but I think in the, in the language that Jesus spoke, uh, certainly, certainly when he spoke about his mother, the, the word is, is, is extremely respectful. Woman is life giver. You who gave me life. And, and he says, woman, there's your son. And she points to, to young John there, the disciple. And then he says to the disciple, basically, Please take care of my mother, uh, and uh, there is your mother. And it says something very, very important, not just about uh, John there at the cross, but for all of us. It says, the disciple from that moment took her into his home. He took her into his heart. He took her into his life. Now we are the beloved disciples of Jesus, and we have taken the wonderful gift that Jesus gave from the cross, not just to one person, John, but to everyone, and we have taken her into the home of our heart. And that's why we have a beautiful ceremony today, uh, uh, because we love her. Okay, we bring flowers and we just say, we love you. We love you uh, because uh, Jesus gave you to be our mother too. And when uh, we're going through some rough times, uh, I think uh, to, to ask Mary to be with us. Uh, uh, when I sometimes uh, remember the times I've had to be with people who are dying, and we come to the words of the, of the Hail Mary, and we say to Mary, pray for us sinners, when? Now? And? At the hour of our death. Uh, it has to be very, very hard to let go of this world. But what if you saw this beautiful mother and all the people that we love who have gone before us? They're smiling and young and happy. So uh, we love our mothers. Uh, uh, some of us who are older, uh, we, we've lost our mothers. Not lost them, because they're, 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 they're home. They're home with God. They're waiting for us. Uh, so I want to tell you one little story. I, I grew up on 59th Street, and uh, we had, you know, the backyards there. Uh, our backyard was, was in front of, a, uh, was in back of a, uh, Mr. Joe and Betty Schick's house on 58th Street. So uh, I've known Mr. Schick all his life, or, or my life anyway. And when I came here as a priest, his, his wife, Betty, was, 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 uh, was old and she was uh, beginning to forget things. And I visited her a whole lot. 
And Betty was nice. She was nice, and, and uh, but she was confused sometimes. So she said to me, "How's your mother?" And I said, "Well, uh, Mrs. Shaker, uh, my mother died in uh, 2003, uh, and we miss her, you know." And the next week I came, she'd say, "How's your mother?" And I said, "Well, you, you, I, I think I told you last week. Maybe you forgot, but but uh, my mother, my mother died, you know." The next time I came, guess what she asked me? How's your mother? And finally, I got the answer. Because it's, and, it's, and it wasn't just so that she would, she would stop uh, asking me that question. It was, it was because it's true. You know what I said? She's fine. Because she is. That's what we believe. She, she's, with, she's with our God in heaven. And she's waiting there. Okay? So, uh, uh, number one, uh, all of you have mothers and, and grandmothers and, and, and godmothers and aunts and, and, and teachers. Uh, women love with a motherly heart, every one of them, all right? So we're very, very grateful uh, for their love uh, because they're always there for us. So, so show it especially uh, uh, on, on this Mother's Day weekend. And tomorrow, some of you are uh, making your first communion. We are so excited. Uh, it's a very special day. Uh, and I, I hope it doesn't rain. Right? That's the only thing. But, if it, but don't, let, don't let it rain on your, uh, on your parade. We're very, very proud. And, and we love you very much. And we ask our Mother Mary to pray for us sinners. Now, right now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, so thank you. I'm always afraid here. I, one time I was here and I was teaching the kids in religious education and I, and I fell into the, to the orchestra a bit. But I did get hurt. Uh, somebody else coming up? Okay. Here you are.
Mary loves us, wants us to help with our person our journey of faith and respect. Jesus. She wants nothing more than to give Christ to us. We will not honor Mary by crowning her as our own.
unceasingly as an expression of her great love for us. Her earthly children, may each one of us come to know her, to love her, as you know and love her. We ask this prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us say the Catholic. 